are two women running for the Democratic Party nomination for that office. Our political analyst John Keller is here tonight. John, the race really is heating up, and it's heating up fast. Yeah, it is, Jonathan and Paula, no doubt about it. Attorney General Martha Coakley is the best-known Democrat in the race, as reflected in polls showing her with a big early lead. But former Secu Homeland Security official Juliet Kayyem is little known, but is out to change that by taking on Coakley directly and bluntly. Established women's groups asked me to defer to, to Martha, and I didn't want to and refused to. Well, I haven't even heard that. I don't think it's true. With just 31 days to go until Democrats gather to choose candidates for governor, the gloves are finally coming off, and it's the two female candidates at the center of the scrum. Martha certainly knows more than anyone uh, that no one should go into a campaign believing that they deserve to win. Ouch! A reference there to Coakley's stunning Senate race loss to Scott Brown. And that sharp elbow is just part of a Kayyem offensive, painting Coakley as too timid on hot-button issues like mandatory sex education in schools. The attorney general sort of was wavering on her answer to that question. Where she comes out now, I don't know. Um, but what's most important is that we're strong from the beginning. This boldness thing, is that just a buzzword? Uh, I, I think people are more interested in what you're actually going to do than the adjectives as to how you describe them. I've just been endorsed by Planned Parenthood as someone who stands up for that uh, good education in our school. So I think uh, that speaks for itself. But Kayyem claims endorsements are old hat and Coakley's, quote, old way of doing things is old news. I am younger than the other candidates. That's just my biography and represent a new generation of leadership uh, that's ready to take charge. I am very proud of my career, my experience, uh, my ideas about how Massachusetts can move forward to be prosperous and fair. Uh, and I think that's what voters are interested in. Now, candidates don't make it onto the primary ballot if they don't get 15% support from delegates to their party convention. And it's a safe guess that Coakley wouldn't mind seeing Kayyem fall short. But Kayyem hopes the party's affinity for outsider candidates in the era of Deval Patrick and Elizabeth Warren is still going strong. We'll find out in June when they meet. I guess it's interesting to ask if two male candidates were blunt and mentioned age, would we notice so much? Uh, you know, probably not, almost certainly not. But this state has an unfortunate history of having a sexist political culture. That's starting to change with Senator Warren, Nikki Sangas, and the congressional delegation. We'll see if that change is mm. continuing as this cycle plays out. It's not being bad. No, it is right? not. <laughs> All right, John, thanks.